Hashim from Department of Applied Physics, Aligarh Muslim University, Aligarh. Today I am going to perform an experiment and uh, the objective of this experiment is to study the variation of resistance of a semiconductor with temperature and hence to determine the energy gap of the semiconductor. That is we have to study about that what will be happen when we what, what will be happen when the temperature of the semiconductor increase or decrease purpose of this experiment is dial type po box this is our dial type po box and uh, thermistor this is our thermistor and the next one is pid control oven this is our pid control oven galvanometer this is galvanometer and leclan sensor and this is our leclan sensor these are the main apparatus which is required for performing this experiment theoretically we know that the resistance of a semiconductor varies with its temperature which is given this formula r equals to some constant a multiplied by e to the power eg upon 2 kt from this equation one can easily obtain an expression like this log r to the base 10 log a to the base 10 plus eg divided by 2 kt multiplied by 2.303 if we compare if we compare this equation with the standard equation of a straight line and we know that the equation of a straight line is y equals to mx plus c where m is the slope of the straight line we find that the slope m is given by 1 upon 2.303 Eg upon 2k. So if we know the if so if we know the slope of the graph, we can easily calculate the energy gap of the semiconductor. So not only we shall study the resistance with temperature, but using this concept, we will also calculate the energy gap of the semiconductor, which we have just shown is equal to the quantity, and this quantity is equals to 2.303 to by Eg. multiplied by 2k into 2.303 now i am going to discuss about the circuit diagram this is our circuit diagram which is nothing but a simple wheatstone bridge the two arms p and q this is our two arms p and q and the third arm r this is our third arm r this is p this is q and this is third arm r and the unknown arm s this is our unknown arm s and the semiconductor is immersed in oil or something it is immersed in oil so when we heat the oil the resistance of the semiconductor rises we increase the resistance of the semiconductor up to 150 degree centigrade then we switch off the heater and let the oil and hence the semiconductor cool oil and semiconductor means the semiconductor is in the oil when oil cools semiconductor also cools and now we record resistance with the help of the po box the resistance of the semiconductor at different temperature as the temperature drop with time at a regular interval of time of 10 degree here we have taken the regular interval of time of 10 degree centigrade this way we get an experimental data we get an experimental data about 10 different resistances up at 10 different at the rate of 10 degree increment in at the rate of 10 degree decrement here we have taken the reading at 150 140 like this one we have to go up to 60 degree centigrade this way we get an experimental data about 10 di different temperature at 10 different degree centigrade then before plotting the graph we change the temperature into kelvin we have to change the temperature in kelvin because in the formula the, the temperature is in kelvin then as per table you see every temperature the quantity is 1000 upon t is calculated so you get 1000 upon t and log r to the base 10 of all the resistances recorded so now we have a table showing the variation between log r to the base 10 and 1000 upon t as shown in the graph as shown in the graph so you see the this plot appears to be when you join all the points and when we join all the different points and you draw in the in main representing all the points we get a straight line now our next task is to find out the 
slope of this straight line so when we find the slope of the line then it is very easy to determine the band gap of the semiconductor now i am going to make the connections and the connections of the circuit diagram is as follows this is our this positive terminal is connected to this one and negative now i am going to connect the galvanometer this is our pit control over this is thermistor this is galvanometer and this is the leclan setup now we have completed our connections now the pit control over is on open now now i am going to adjust the temperature of this pit control over up to 150 degree centigrade now the temperature is 32 and now i am going to increase the temperature of this pit control over Okay, now go, I am going to adjust this PID control oven. This will be become so. This will remain as one. And first, it will it it will be on run. And then first we have to make this as set and then measure. First, I we have to put this as set. And for after that, I I am going to uh, adjusting the temperature at 150 degree. Then after that, we have to set this as measure. now the temperature is going to increase we have adjusted the temperature at uh, 150 degree centigrade this is our set temperature and uh, in the table that you are seeing that this is our actual temperature you have to add, you have to write in here actual temperature the temperature which is showing here in pit control oven first we have a, a set this as 150 but the actual value of the temperature is 150.2 150.1 you have to write in here as 151 then you have to calculate then you have to convert this temperature uh, degree centigrade temperature into kelvin by adding 273 and then you have, you will find out as the formula as in the equation the temperature is is in kelvin therefore you have to convert it the degree centigrade temperature into kelvin our next task, task is that we have to find out the resistance the resistance value will be calculated will be find out by the have with the help of the po box okay this is our galvanometer this is p this is q and this one all these the r this p will remain at 10 q will be remain at 10 and you have to adjust it the value of resistance r such that there will be the null point in the galvanometer after pressing this the two keys there will must be the null point in the galvanometer you see here now i am showing that there is a deflection in the galvanometer now you have to adjust the resistance is such that there must be no uh, deflection in the galvanometer we have to find out the null point or null point in the galvanometer please see here here is the deflection in the galvanometer now you have to adjust the value of resistance such that there must be null point in the galvanometer now i am going to change the value of resistance here please see here this is our multiplied of four resistance r uh, this is 1000 multiplier this is 100 multiplier this is 10 multiplier and this is 1 multiplier now i am going to adjust it the value of resistance such that we have to adjust the value of resistance such that there must be the null point in the galvanometer so now i, I am adjusting and now i am going to adjust the value of resistance here i have put the value 1 and, and here i am taking the value of 10 this is i am taking here 10 with the help of the 10 multiplier this is our 10 resistance 10 and this is 1 now the value of resistance is 11 11 ohm but there is the also deflection in the galvanometer now i am going to increase the value of resistance i am i have made the value of resistance 12 12 after adjusting the value of resistance 12 there is the there is also some deflection in the galvanometer now i am going to adjusting the value of 13 13 
after adjusting volume there is also some deflection and going to value and now i am going to value change as 14 just there is minor deflection is also there and after making the value of 15 and there is also some deflection minor deflection but at the value of 16 there is no deflection that's why i have find out the null point in the galvanometer so you have to set you have to set the value of resistance r such that there must be no uh, deflection in the galvanometer it means that the galvanometer must be at null point now this is our recorded data this is the, here is the temperature the temperature this was which was adjusted and this is the set temperature this is our actual and okay now, now i am going to explain the data observations here, here this is the temperature 150 degree that we have set this is our this, this was our set temperature and this is our actual temperature 150.4 and then 150.4 degree centigrade then we have to convert it this in kelvin and after converted it into kelvin this value is 423.4 kelvin this is our resistance that we have calculated with the help of the po box and after the calculation we have find out the value of 10 10, 10 to the power 3 divided by t as 2.36 when we take in the value of log r log of 16 to the base 10 we have find out the value of 2. Saving one. Now, now I am going to decrease the temperature by 10 degree centigrade. Uh, first, you have to go to the set. Then you have to decrease the temperature as 140 degree centigrade. Now, we, I will make the temperature at 140 degree. Okay. This is now, uh, this is our, uh, uh, we have set the temperature at 140 degree, then you have to go to the measure. You have to uh, return here as 140 degree centigrade, here you have to return the value of actual temperature. We have to wait uh, for some time and few, for few minutes, then you have to put the value of actual temperature that we, that we will be that will be shown in the PID control zone. We have set the value of temperature at 140 and then you have you have to return the value actual temperature. Now we have made the temperature 140 degree centigrade. Firstly we have adjusted the temperature at 150. We have taken the diff reading as 150 degree centigrade. Now I am going to decrease the temperature by 10 degree centigrade and uh, I have adjusted, I have set the temperature 140 degree centigrade and then this is our actual value of temperature, this is 140.3 degree centigrade. Then I have converted this temperature into Kelvin, this is the value of 413.3 and this is the value of resistance for opting the uh, uh, null point in the galvanometer i have adjusted at 18 i have find out the null point in galvanometer at after adjusting the resistance at 18 we are now we are, i am going to show i have adjusted the temperature here at 18 and there is no the null point in the galvanometer after pressing the key there is no null point in the galvanometer okay then you have to convert it you have to find out the value of 10 to the power 3 upon t in Kelvin inverse. This is 2.41 and after that you have to find out the value of log r to the base 10 log 18 to the base 10. Okay. Now the same and the same sets of readings have been repeated up to the 60 degree centigrade. You have to decrease the temperature in the step increment of 10 degree centigrade and you have to go you have to set the value of temperature up to 60 degree centigrade like 150 140 130 and you have to go up to 60 degree centigrade then you have to uh, you have to retain the actual value actual value of temperature that has been recorded by PID control oven and then you have to find out the corresponding value of resistance of unknown resistance that can be find out with the help of the PO box you have to adjust the value of resistance you have to adjust it with the value of resistance Still, you know, there is no, no null point in the galvanometer. When you find out the null, uh, null, null point in the galvanometer, this will be the your value of unknown distance, as I told you earlier. Also, after that, you have to make the simple. You have to make the simple calculation. And now, our main task is that you have to find out the band gap. So, the band gap can be calculated with the help of the. You have to for finding the band gap, you have to you have to find out the slope of the straight line. 
now we will draw a graph between the log r to the base 10 and 1 upon t into 10 is to the power 3 these data will be observed in the observation table from taking the these data from the observation table we have to plot a graph between log r to the base 10 and 1 upon t into 10 is to the power 3 you when you join these, these are the different data points these are the different data points and you have to you have to make the, these data points like this and when you make a when you uh, make the straight line uh, after joining all these points you will find out a straight line so now our main task is that as i told you earlier the our band gap is nothing but is the slope of the straight line graph when we compare this equation by the state uh, standard equation of straight line we find out that the slope s is equals to eg upon 2k then basically we have to find out mn upon lm mn upon lm after calculating the mn upon lm we will find out the mn this is our mn and this is our mn and this is our lm so this is basically nothing but the m tan theta so after finding the slope of the by using this graph we find out the value of energy band gap